got into work so quickly today. <laughs> Good morning, we have about four people online. Give it, I got about four more minutes till nine. Oh, we got, we're up to eight. Um, good morning to everyone who's on here already. I hope you guys are having a great morning. I hope everyone had a great long weekend. Um, it's a hot one outside. <laughs> this week has been very warm. I hope you guys are all staying um, hydrated and cool because it's toasty. Couple more minutes. We are about a week, no, two and a half weeks out from VBX here at the church um, during the week of July 22nd through 24th. Um, on the 22nd, we're going to have our um, kindergarten through second graders here, and on the 23rd and 24th, we'll have our third through fifth graders here. Um, this event will run from 9 to noon on all three days, so make sure that you go ahead and jump onto the website and sign up your kids, um, or if you're looking to volunteer, we, we would love to have you join, um, so you can also jump online to register yourselves. Also, for families that don't feel comfortable yet um, coming and hanging out with a bunch of kids, we're going to provide a virtual option this year, so there's also a link that you can sign up for. Um, where you can come and pick up a box to help you do the virtual VBS experience from home. Um, and we would love to have you guys join in any way that you can. So make sure that you guys sign up your families um, in whatever way possible. And we hope to see you guys soon in a couple of weeks. We are really looking forward to it. We really missed having all of the kids this summer. Um, but we hope to be able to see them again soon. Got a couple more minutes. <laughs> I normally can't figure out how to work live. So then, of course, I do figure out how to work it, and I start it too early. But it's okay. So we'll just sting out. Give it one more minute. All right, it is 9 o'clock, so let's get started so that you guys can get on with the rest of your days. Um, I just wanted to leave you guys with what's kind of um, 
been on my heart that God's kind of been speaking to me. So um, I've been doing this devotional called 100 Days of Thanks. And what I really like about this devotion is I think typically we think of Thanksgiving around the time of Thanksgiving. So around November, um, we really start focusing on what it looks like to give thanks and to be grateful for the things that God has given us. But this devotional has kind of encouraged me to look at giving thanks every day and not just um, at a certain time of year. And this has been really encouraging to me during this time of COVID because I think we take a lot of things for granted and we especially have right now um, when everything's kind of been taken away from us. And so um, I just wanted to share this quick Devo um, that I did a couple of weeks ago and just kind of encourage you guys today. So the scripture for this one is comes from Psalm 21, verse 6, and it says, You shower him with blessings that last forever. He finds joy in knowing your presence and loving you. And so what this is really talking about is finding things to be grateful in the little things. I think for me especially, and probably a lot of you guys out there, when we think of giving thanks, we think, well, thank you, God, for uh, my family, or thank you for my friends, thank you for a church um, that loves me and that loves God and that um, I feel free to worship Him in, or we think of all these big things, which is really great, and we really should thank God for these things. But this is this devotion talks about... Um, thinking about the smaller gifts that we don't necessarily always think about to thank God for. And so it talks about like being grateful for your family or for food or for job or a home. And these are all things that typically are at the top of our gratitude list. So when you sit down and make a list of all the things that you're thankful for, those are commonly the ones that we think of first. But what about those smaller more subtle gifts that we don't think about as much. Maybe for you, it's your child's laugh. And when you hear your children playing together, when you hear their laughs, um, it just encourages you and you're so grateful for that. Or maybe it's going to the mailbox and finding unexpected snail mail. I know me personally, I love getting mail. And so maybe for you, that's what your um, little sign of gratitude comes from is that piece of mail from your friend that you weren't expecting or maybe it's your favorite fruit and when you eat your favorite fruit on a hot summer day that just makes you so grateful um, I don't know what it is for you maybe it's the sunlight and uh, when the sun's shining you thank God for another um, beautiful day or Maybe you live a really busy life, and so when you get to snuggle up on your couch with a um, warm blanket, that's what you're grateful for. Or it can be something as random as Amazon Prime or hot coffee. I know that I'm very grateful for that. Your favorite shampoo. These are all really small gifts that we don't think about being grateful for that give us an impact every day and so what would it look like if we began praising God for the small things I think sometimes we think that we shouldn't praise God for things that are man-made but God created those inventors he created those people that created those things and he created a gift inside of them to be able to produce these things so I think it's okay for us to be grateful for them and so I want to challenge you guys um, this morning, um, and maybe you even do this as a family, but maybe it'll look like you gathering up your kids and giving everyone a sheet of paper and just writing down five things that you can spot in the room around you that you're grateful for. And I challenge you guys this week as you're praying to just thank God for the little things. I know right now um, it's really easy to get caught up in all the things that aren't going the way that we want them to, but what if we began thanking God for um, the small stack of books that we have sitting on our floor or um, the collection of mugs that we have or just the little things 
um, that bring us joy, let's thank God for those things. So that's my challenge to you guys this morning. As a family, encourage your kids to also be grateful for the small things, um, but also do that yourself and be an example to your kiddos. Um, but also I think it helps us grow in tremendous ways. So um, I'll read that scripture again. It says in Psalm chapter 21, verse 6, You shower him with blessings that last forever. He finds joy in knowing your presence and loving you. So let me pray and then we'll close out. God, I thank you so much just for all the little things that you've given us, God. I think sometimes we get so caught up in the big things um, that we take for granted, God, but I pray that you allow us to focus today and just this week on the small blessings that you've given us. Um, I thank you, God, um, for warm coffee, even though it's hot outside, um, just that boost of energy in the morning. I thank you for... Um, the collection of books that I have that I can cuddle up with on the couch and read. I thank you so much just for um, your beauty and your flowers and just the creatures of nature, God, that um, they're just a constant reminder of you and your glory. Um, God, I thank you so much just for the little things, and I pray that we are able to focus on those little things more this week. We love you so much. It's your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. That's all I have for this morning, so go out and be grateful.